not our typical BLM campground for several reasons. Uh, number one, this is a beautiful campground. Totally amazing view from this spot. We learned that it's not free, it's seven bucks a night, but it does come with things like this picnic table, grill, fire pit. We also learned after we already made it all the way up here, because it's like a 20 minute drive off the main highway to get here, that you're supposed to be like 23 feet or less. So we are not 23 feet or less, we made it. I don't know that I would recommend trying this if you're 30 feet or more, but um, if you want to give it a go, obviously we did it. And our lively tribe who we're caravanning with did it as well. So it can be done. There are not a ton of sites that hold 30 footers, but luckily it's not very crowded at all. And so it wasn't that bad to find somewhere for us to park. The scarier part was probably the drive up here, to be honest, <laughs> just cause I've got this metal body and there's like all kinds of uh, stuff just sticking out on the side of the road, just asking to scratch the Airstream up. We've also learned that there's a 6 p.m. curfew here. <laughs> you might be thinking like, what do you mean 6 p.m. curfew? Well, there's a gate, I don't know, way down there where we came in. And uh, they lock that bad boy at 6 p.m. every night in the winter season. I think in the summer it might be 8 p.m. No gate code. Um, there is a host you can go wake up to get in after hours, but I've heard they're not too happy about it if you go talk to them after hours to get in. So we've got to try to be back by 6 p.m. tonight or we're in trouble. Been a while since I've had a 6 p.m. curfew. So that's our only suggestion for this campground. Get a gate code. If you got to raise the price from seven bucks to eight bucks to pay somebody to like change that code once a month or something, do it. Uh, you gotta have the gate code. And then the last thing I've learned is that time lapses here are incredible. <laughs> Let's roll that one more time. I've gotta do more time lapse stuff. Today we're heading 45-ish minutes this way, back off the mountain, and we're going to be checking out White Sands National Monument, right? I'm excited. I've heard people talk about this for a long time, and I've always wanted to go, and I've seen the pictures. I think it's going to be awesome. Well, we are going. Hi, aren't you? Yeah. You love laying in the sand. I take my shoes off. Okay. We'll take your shoes off. You got Elsa <laughs> and Anna. You gonna take them with you? Yeah. All right. Here, you gotta put a jacket on. Yeah, get a jacket on. It's a little windy. So I don't know if it's a sand dune thing or what. And apparently we didn't learn much from last time we went to Great Sand Dunes <laughs> National Park. Um, but it's windy again. So this might be the last time you hear our voice while we're here. <laughs> it is crazy windy. Let's see some speed. She's laughing. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and say, like, just to drive in, I like this better than the National Park, don't you? It's beautiful. Like, this is a national monument? It looks like snow everywhere. Yeah, it's just it's pretty awesome. gorgeous. I don't, it doesn't look like they're as tall as the ones no. in Colorado. Come on, Mama. But it, there's, like, you can drive through it, and it looks like The feeling of driving snow. through it, yeah, and it being all around you. Um, the, yeah, the National Parks are bigger, but I don't know. I don't know who gets to decide what's a monument and what's a national park, how that works, but it's definitely pretty cool. I think eventually things that are monuments get turned into national parks. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely, I think the story here to us is like, don't dismiss your national monuments. There's some pretty cool oh, national yeah. monuments we checked out. We've seen out. some beautiful yeah. monuments. All right, we're going, we're going. But as a pro, like the sand is right here. Like in the national park, it was way bigger, but it was like way more work to get to the sand dunes to do stuff, so. So pretty cool that we can just pull up and we're at the dunes. <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at your little legs, you're in that dude.
Something pretty cool you can do here that I don't think you could do at Great Sand Dunes National Park is uh, you can actually get a permit and you can go camping if you want to out here. What are you making? Ice cream cone. Ice cream cone? That looks like a yummy ice cream cone right there. She's making yummy ice cream cones. It looks really good. And her shoes? Yep. Thanks, Hensley. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's shoes are perfect for that, aren't they? Marissa would ever clean her shoes out when we get out of here. Uh, we're going to have sand everywhere, Hensley. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just making ice cream cone. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you see your walrus? I'm not supposed to teach her to play with her food. Huh? Oh my goodness, you're a <laughs> <laughs> Where's your walrus? She ate it. Oh, you ate it? Figures. <laughs> you can't <get it. laughs> So if you don't want to bathe yourself in sand like our family did, especially Hensley, um, you've got a boardwalk option like this. She's got a fall. So you can still get a feel for walking around the sand dunes without being in the sand. And uh, we don't get to read a lot of signs, but luckily Erin behind us does read some, and she found out that uh, 20 plus movies have been filmed out here I think since it was the 50s. More than that. There's a lot of movies. Yeah. Like uh, Transformers Year One, which Transformers is 2006, Year One 2008, and tons of like commercials, TV shows. Music I can definitely videos. see why. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Marissa's music video is filmed out here. It's coming soon. <laughs> I gotta learn to sing first. I didn't lip sync. That's everybody lip syncs, right? I bet you're a good lip syncer. <laughs> Thanks. Um. <laughs> I don't, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean that. All right, Hensley, class is in session. What are you gonna teach us? She's the tailor and the blizzard. All right, guys, <laughs> are you only going to sit in the seat? Yeah, and the Did you just go dance? Are you gonna teach or what? Here, Trent, come sit up here. And dance with you. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> She's the most energetic teacher I've ever seen. <laughs> I would take her class. Fun fact, do you know what country has the most national parks in the world? Do you know what it is, Marissa? You read the signs. So. I read the signs, so <laughs> I phoned a friend. Australia. How many? It was over 700 and something, she said. That's a lot That's of national crazy. parks. We could never make the goal, I don't think, to visit, visit all the national parks if we lived in Australia. Our, we would eventually like to visit all the national parks in the U.S., but they're always changing them and switching them up, so it's a hard, uh, it's a hard task to beat, but I would eventually like to see them all. I you? think we will. We'll get it. How many have we seen? I need to count I up know. our national parks in our states. I bet we've seen at least 30 national parks? Uh, yeah, we'll go with 30. And then probably... 30? 30 35 states? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like a good number. <laughs> Everything's in the 30s. I would say so. Yeah, we're over halfway there, we hope, on both, so. Pretty crazy awesome day today. Um, some pretty crazy awesome views today too. <laughs> like just everywhere. Yeah, it's all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> just driving to our campground, seeing the White Sands National Monument. Just it's kind of a been a beautiful day I guess it has and like really neither of these places were I don't think like majorly on our radar like this campground we just sort of said oh look a BLM place let's go check that out had it's no clue one of our top spots like I'd we say so really yeah. like this spot it's gorgeous definitely top 10 maybe top five pretty awesome and then mm -hmm. White Sands today was just when Marissa told me it was like a national monument I'm like uh, but it was cool <laughs> I really liked it I liked it more than 
the national park we went to. I think it was cool how white the sand was. Mm -hmm. It was like seriously like snow without the cold. So that was really awesome. That's your thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the beauty of snow, but not the, the temperature. So. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up for the night. Keep enjoying this crazy awesome view and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Come on buddy, let's go. I feel like we're in Yellowstone or something. <laughs> Except it's like cows.